the matter? I know I keep saying this, and I know I said this earlier, but your memories are returning. Aren't they? Uh, maybe. You hate them so much. What's your problem? Ever since we stopped the magic energy leaking from Grand Staff, you get that look sometimes. Did you get exposed back there? Uh, got no use for the past. Kaim! Don't say things like that! It's none of your business. <sighs> hey, <sighs> we... Great. Yeah. Maybe I was just a little too quick to throw that black pearl. Golly, I gotta lighten up. I'm just way too tense. I need to get back to those three girls. Shh. What's that? You hear that? What? Jensen! That, that's a harp. Yeah. A queen must be in there, right? I mean, no dude plays a harp. Yeah. Queen? Ignore it. It'll lead to trouble. Hey, I've got a sixth sense about these things. The queen's gotta be hot. If I didn't pay my respects, I mean, I'd have to turn in my man card. Time to work my magic. Ugh, idiot. <sighs> what are you trying to pull, Jensen? <clears throat> Open up. <clears throat> <clears throat> It's no use. Oh, that moron! Do you know anything about the Queen? Well, from a long time ago. If nothing's changed since then, she's definitely someone I know. Looks like your own memories are returning. So you're not afraid of the past? No, I like the past. It's thanks to the past that I'm here now, right? If memory serves me correctly... She's someone from the past, who made me who I am now. <laughs> she smiled when she held out her hand to me. Even when stranded in the middle of the ocean. Faced by me, a pirate. She wouldn't show any fear. I felt a certain kind of strength and... A special kindness from her. The Queen could have arrested me for piracy, but instead she invited me to her palace. We talked about a lot of things. It was a huge surprise to find someone in such a high station who was so open-minded. <laughs> no, she wasn't just open-minded. Even though we just met, it felt like we'd known each other for years. Our talk seemed full of nostalgia. <laughs> I laughed for the first time in a long time. I don't know if she felt the same way, but at any rate, she seemed fascinated by everything I said. Treasure hunting in the Great Eastern Ruins, beating the crap out of pirates who stepped out of line. I covered it all. Tell me about your life. But when I look back at the way she let me keep talking, I think she might have longed to be free, just for a moment. Here, take this. Hmm. Scoring a queen's pendant without a fight. I must be really lucky today. No, I'm only lending it to you. The next time we meet, I want it back. <laughs> Wait, Your Highness, please. I'm not dangerous. I swear. 
Whew, thank you so much. Uh, please, just don't call the guards yet. Who are you? I beg your forgiveness, Your Highness, for the sudden intrusion. Jansen Freed, at your service. I am but a simple fool, drawn here by your lovely harp song. The White Boa is ordained away. Where did you come from? Any man who heard such an enchanting melody would grow wings and fly to meet you. Land or sea, just as long as he found you. Like this. Ah, I would very much like to know your name, Your Highness. Ming. Ming Numara. Ah, such a lovely name. And I've finally gotten to see you smile. Please, feel free to laugh at this simple fool. Just seeing your smile has made it worth risking your wrath at my uninvited presence. Is something the matter? Forgive my impertinence, but even though your smile shines bright, Your Highness, I also see loneliness. Your harp song you were playing earlier feels the same. It's as if it reflects your own heart. My... my heart? When you play, the melody radiates kindness and warmth. But sometimes it sinks into sorrow. That sorrow is what drove me to you and sparked a desire to smooth it away. What is that? I shall heal your sorrow. Please, trust me. If you remain here, your heart will only be stained with more sorrow. My heart... stained with sorrow? Oh. Jensen, why did you really come? Ugh. Ah, what a woman! <sighs> great. Just great. What was that? To Her Majesty's room! Hurry! This way! <laughs> You again? Ugh. Crap, Jansen, you idiot. What are you doing here? Plotting to kidnap the Queen? Uh, hello, General. Oh, man. I see you're at least smart enough not to resist. Take them away. Yes. yes. You men, follow me to Her Majesty's room. Understood. Understood. Your Highness. It's General Kakanis. I heard a loud noise just now. Are you all right? Your Highness, please open the door! Ah, Your Highness! It's no good, sir. It won't open. Bridge, open the door to Her Majesty's room immediately. This is an emergency. That's strange. It doesn't open. Idiots! You open the emergency hatch! Ah! Please. There we go. Hey there, little guy. You lost? You're not chasing me too, are you? Whoa!
Whew. Close one. You're quite kind, aren't you? Ah, you're awake, your highness. Uh, what? Uh. <laughs> okay, this isn't funny. I, I need to get out you of know, this. No, I was never really asleep. Huh? I couldn't judge your true intentions, Whoa. so I tested you. I sincerely apologize. Well, then do something about this, okay? Would Not just now. I am the queen, and I cannot just simply run away with you. But that Kakanis bastard is taking advantage of you. You can't be comfortable surrounded by these lunkheads, can you? Even so, I will not forsake my duties. Your feet will be fine. Just remain here for a little while. Nothing higher will turn to stone. <laughs> Gee, thanks for considering my, uh, <laughs> higher parts. <laughs> you finally sound more like yourself. Huh? Such insincerity reflects poorly on your true self. Whew! All that formal speech stuff is making my shoulders stiff anyway. But I'm fired up now, my queen. When I get out of this, I'll prove my sincerity to your heart's content. Oh yeah! You can bet on it! Your Majesty! Ah! God crap! Oh, this is so unfair! Have you been hung? That's for boy. Oh, man. Golly. <laughs> Yeah! 